Hi, my name is Ray Chambers and I'm an ICT teacher from Lodge Park Technology College in Corby. Now, in this example, I'm going to go back to what I did in Lesson 3 with the beta version of the SDK and I'm going to use a full version sample. Now, what I've got in here is my gestures being processed and I have some if statements which I used from the last sample. So, for if you for example, if your hand is if your right hand's above your head, then do this. If your right hand is below your waist, then do this. And if your right hand is to the right, then display this. Now in this example, I'm going to show you how to update a text box. So if I go to our main window and add the text box in first, so if I right click and open. And I'm just going to close this error box because I haven't got any at the moment. Uh, whatever you do, please don't remove this because what this is doing, and I've already added the code in for you, is uh, checking whether you have your connect plugged in or not. And it's really useful. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is go to my toolbox. You can see I have all the samples there so you can add all the audio viewers in. Um, so I'm going to go down, and if I get my text block, I'm going to put it in here, uh, text instructions, let's make the font nice and big so we can see it, so if I scroll down here, I've got my font size, let's do it at 26, okay, so now we've got our text box, I'm going to call it text instructions, txt instructions. So if I go back to my code now, what I'm going to say is every time my hand is above my head, do this. So text instructions dot text equals hand above head. And I'm going to leave that comment bit out there. Text instructions dot text equals hand below waist and here I'm going to have text instructions dot text equals hand to the right so now when I run it that just simply that small bit of code there updates the text box so if you watch So now if my hand goes above my head, and then below the waist, to the right, below the waist. Now there's plenty more you can do with that code. So all you need to do is give it a try and try in different gestures. So for example, you can actually update the Z value, which is how close you are to the connect. So if you're certain length from the connect, it, you can have a pop-up message saying, you're too close, please step back. So there's plenty you can do with this. See if you can give it a go.